Hi again, so we have reached the exercise, uh, again a midterm exercise, so it's uh, called average value and second distinct maximum, so we need to write a program that asks the user to enter uh, uh, positive integer values, and the program terminates when the user enters a negative value by displaying on the screen the average and the second distinct maximum of the list of uh, the positive even integers under, uh, entered by the user. So the user should enter uh, multiple um, uh, numbers, so it's ended by a negative one, and the program should just calculate the average and the second maximum of the even numbers. So he will drop, it will drop the, uh, the odd numbers, the odd positive numbers, and just he will consider the even ones. So let's start. So we we uh, we don't know the numbers uh, of 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 uh, the users uh, the number of uh, the user that he wants to enter so we cannot use for loop uh, and uh, so we either uh, use do while so we end it when we have a negative number or we can use an infinite loop so i'm always into infinite loops so let's start with while one and i need to uh, enter ask the user to enter a number so enter an even number so in the in the in the in the, in the number here is called a number so enter a number so enter a number and we do a scan app so let's call the number nb percentage d address of nb so we, we need to check the nb so if it's negative it means bye bye if nb less than zero i will do a break and what if the number is uh, odd I will do continue so it means I, I, I will not make the calculations I will not count it in between the numbers that I want to, to, to calculate the sum or the maximum so this is not what I want so in order to calculate the the average so I need a sum and I need a, a variable to count the numbers. So sum would be equal to zero since it's a sum. And a count also would be equal to zero. And here, so here we have a num an even number. So I will count plus plus and I will do uh, sum plus equal to number. And at the end, I would uh, display sum over count. However, I need also to um, uh, calculate the second maximum. So not just the 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 the, the uh, normal maximum but the second maximum so in order to check the second maximum i need to keep track of the first maximum because i need at the end to check if it's the second maximum so for that we will have two maximum two variables maximum maximum one and maximum two and i need to work on both so at first let's say maximum one equal maximum two equal minus one since we are dealing with positive even numbers so at first we should check if the number uh, we, we need to set the maximum one so if number is greater than maximum one we will uh, save maximum uh, one so maximum one would be equal to number so and obviously maximum two at later on would be equal to maximum one so let me tell you what we're happening what what's happening here so Whenever, for example, we are having a list of numbers, so let's go back here. So first, seven is the maximum one because it's the only maximum. However, when we when we have uh, uh, six here, so for now it's the second maximum. So how how can I do that? So we will do it later in the uh, in the else part. So because let's let's write it and then rerun that. So so six is not greater than the maximum. However, six is greater than maximum two because maximum two for now is equal to minus one so max two would be equal to nb so let us repeat the stuff so at first seven is the maximum one so it's here when we got six six is not uh, greater than the maximum one so it's now maximum two which is obvious so six is the second number then i will get six so six is also the second maximum so we're not changing however when we get nine nine now is the maximum one however Seven now is the maximum two. So here is the case. So whenever I, I'm reading a number and it's greater than the maximum one, so maximum one will be maximum two, and the newly read number would be maximum one. So this is just the trick here that you need to discover that 
while working with maximum two, you need to keep the last maximum one. So print up second maximum maximum would be equal to uh, max two and the average be equal percentage point two LF for double and two digits after the comma it's sum over uh, count however I need to cast one of these so let's cast sum to double and let's run so I will input the same values so I'll enter seven six six nine eight and eight ten and ten one two and minus two I will get the uh, second maximum equal uh, to 10 however it's not distinct here so we should pay attention so and we have the average equal 7.14 uh, so then the question we need the second distinct maximum and not the same maximum so for example here we have 10 10 so 10 is not the, it is the first maximum. However, we need the distinct uh, maximum. So how can we uh, remedy to this uh, problem? So how can we get the distinct maximum? So we have if nb1 is greater than max1 strictly. So we'll, we'll update max2 equal max1 and max1 equal nb2. Else it means nb is less or equal to max 1 so however I'm checking just if and B is greater than max 2 so ob obviously when I'm here the, the maximum 1 is equal 10 and maximum 2 is equal to 9 however when I get this so maximum 1 is not greater than maximum uh, the number that I'm getting here is not greater than maximum 1 which is equal to 10 however and B is greater than maximum 2 so what we should pl place here is that and B should be different than maximum one and and be greater than maximum two. So let's run it and check. Seven, six, six, nine, eight, eight, ten, ten, one, two, and minus 2 so now we get the second maximum equal to 8 and uh, the average equal to 714 so we need the second distinct maximum so we need to pay attention that we will not we, we shouldn't get the same value so uh, uh, on the website you can check another solution not using infinite loop so there's no break and continue and again if you have any questions do not hesitate to drop me a message and i will answer you back and again thanks for watching